In the US, we consume 52.2 billion pounds of meat per year. On average, that means that each person eats around 270 pounds of meat every year. The global meat market more than doubled from 1980 to 2000 and is projected to double again. That's a lot of meat. But have you ever thought about the impact that your hamburger has? Livestock production is the cause of many environmental issues, including increased greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, decreased biodiversity, and greatly increased water intake. Humans are doing more and more to alter the natural environment by displacing native species, polluting waters, creating dead zones in the Gulf, and raising the global temperature. One of the most significant contributors to the global human footprint is actually livestock production. No other human activity comes close to using as much land as livestock does. Over one third of all land on Earth is currently utilized for livestock raising or feed crops. And by 2050, the land required to support livestock production will increase by 30 to 50%. So why does this matter? Habitat loss is the number one cause of species extinction and biodiversity loss on the planet. Because livestock is the biggest contributor to habitat loss, it has huge impacts on native species. The more land used for cattle, pigs, and other livestock, and the land used to grow their feed, the fewer native ecosystems that still remain. Particularly at risk are biodiversity hotspots. These are regions notable for their incredibly high diversity of plants and animals, crucial for maintaining a healthy ecosystem. Within the next few decades, the majority of the world's population will live in the incredibly biodiverse tropics, increasing livestock production and ecosystem destruction. Rainforests, like the Amazon, even fall prey to the industry, as more than 75% of all the deforested Amazon land is now used for livestock pasture and feed production. Livestock production also uses a massive amount of water. Over 50 gallons of water are used to produce one pound of beef. That's like giving your dinner three showers. In terms of the total water footprint, or the total volume of fresh water used to produce a product for human consumption, 27% of it is related to livestock. For comparison, only 4% of the footprint is from at-home use. The livestock industry also affects global climate change. The global temperature of the Earth has increased 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit since the 19th century and could increase by as much as 2.52 more in the next. This is resulting in ecosystem and crop destruction, decreased food and water resources, and more extreme weather. While frequently the focus of climate change action centers around CO2 emissions, Methane is actually 21 times more effective at trapping heat in the atmosphere than CO2 is. This means it's more conducive to global warming. The main source of methane emissions? Livestock. In total, roughly 50% of greenhouse gas emissions stem from the meat industry, including not only emissions from livestock themselves, but also the technology used to support them. Even with the complex problems that livestock production causes, the solutions may in fact be simple. Studies have shown that once cattle are removed from riparian systems, they quickly restore themselves. Three years after the removal of grazing cattle from the Hart Mountain National Antelope Refuge, pronghorn populations had more than doubled, bare soil decreased by 90%, and native aspen and vegetation returned. Native ecosystems currently prey to livestock grazing may be able to be restored passively if we simply remove the livestock. Have you ever considered limiting your personal meat intake? Transforming the way we eat could help to solve global food shortages and help us to cope in the face of population growth and climate change. If we remove livestock production entirely and replace that land with crops meant for direct human consumption, we could increase the food calories available by as much as 70%. And if we substitute meat with soy, we can reduce biomass appropriation by more than 90%. Research also reveals the benefits of eating less meat. When you move from a meat to vegetarian diet, you reduce your individual water footprint by more than 30%. Even if every American just eliminated one meal of chicken per week and replaced it with vegetarian foods, the carbon dioxide saved would be equivalent to that of taking half a million cars off the streets. Even the smallest of dietary changes can have significant environmental impacts.